It's 10 o'clock and it's still like 29 degrees, 28. It is insanely hot. It's literally like being on holiday and I feel like this is exactly what we needed because we haven't had a holiday in like two years. I had a bit of an idea today that I'm going to transform our garden tomorrow. Yeah, I decided what I wanted at um, like 10 past seven and being Q shot at eight, so we just didn't get enough time. We were, Toby had ordered the pizza and it was literally on its way, so by the time he'd finished, it was too late for us to go. But I think I'm gonna do a click and collect and go tomorrow morning because... Well, let's just go and find them. Don't need to um, click and collect, we just go to the shop. Yeah, but they can just bring it all together for us and we don't have to find it. It's just like, it makes it quicker when we get there. Maybe we should set up tonight then to make sure it's... Okay, let's do that. We've done a few different things with our garden since we've lived here. We've had like different tables and different chairs and for a bit we had like tons of plants everywhere and then... The bench is boss though, the bench is the best upgrade to the garden. Yeah, I mean, I feel like it's going to look a lot better when we've got all the other bits too. But fake grass is amazing. Yeah, so up here you probably can't see there's like this nice big gap here now and you can see like the houses and sky. Where that gap is, there was never a gap, there was two huge trees and a year ago... Oh, there's a spider coming down, can you make it not be near us? Okay. <laughs> cool. Um, there were two huge trees so we got no sunlight so we never could like really sit in our garden, we couldn't lay out in our garden, we didn't get like any sun and pretty much any plant that we put in our garden died and it was just horrible because we spent so much time and money and like really made an effort and it would look amazing for like a week and then everything would die and we just get so many like bugs and spiders and I guess where it's like city and just like concrete like everything just kind of like nests around the windows and just on everything so it's disgusting so we've been spending a bit of time trying to like brush everything up clear it out toby did the front garden today like de-weeded everything so my thoughts now are it's like it's like concrete and brick but it's all like different slabs so like big ones little ones some little bricks and it's all like different and we haven't really been able to sort of do anything with it and we thought about getting artificial grass but didn't really know like where to start and end it because of the shape of our garden and the drainage around the edge but I think what we're going to do is I've measured it all out and found the grass that we need we're going to try and do artificial grass for basically the whole thing um, and then just around the drainage around the sides we're going to put slate like broken slate tiles or just like broken up slate because then the drainage can still go through so I'm really hoping that it's going to completely transform our garden and look amazing and then we've obviously got our picnic bench that we got and I've got uh, another like two I don't know what they're called like egg chair donut chairs um, and a little table that I'm going to probably put over there or over here and like make a cute little area and i've also ordered a paddling pool because it's like 30 degrees for the next like at least three or four days so we thought it'd be really nice to have a paddling pool and i think that'll make the garden really cozy as well i think tomorrow it's basically going to be done and then the last few bits that i want to do is get some cushions for the bench something to cover up we've got like a little bike store bit but it's it's open so just we want something to cover that area um, and a few lanterns and a couple of plants and then we're done so I feel like over summer our garden is going to be complete and I hope it'll just be really nice when people come round. Hi, hi, hi. What actually is the temperature? I feel like it's definitely hotter than 28. Okay, it says 29 but I mean it's going to get to 31. God, it's just sunshine, sunshine. It's like a holiday. We're on our way to being cute. We've done the click and collect for the artificial grass stones around the edge, we need to pick up some weed killer from somewhere, we're also popping into Asda and Sainsbury's because there's some really good free from bits from Asda and we never ever ever go to Asda and there's one literally next to B&Q so we're going to pop in there to see if we can just grab a couple of things and we ran out of Moju shops this morning so we're going to pop into Sainsbury's to pick up some more Moju, I actually can't wait to get this whole market to cool down, it's going to be so nice. Um, I had sort of planned to go a bit earlier but we had a bit of a relaxed morning and had breakfast outside and stuff and I've just been talking to my mum so it's actually half twelve at the moment so it's like this is what it's going to be like when I'm going for a walk tomorrow I'm going to get there melted god again where 
trying the same thing. It's the only thing I can deal with in this heat. And also, I was about to put a dress on and then I thought, I'm literally gonna be like lifting, carrying, getting all of this stuff from being cute. So I don't really wanna be wearing a tiny dress, even though I feel like no one should be wearing anything. It should just be bikinis only today. Oh, I love Clifford Collect. I'm gonna have to walk around being cute for ages. But if it wasn't a hot sunny day, I would quite like to walk around because I do like walking around being cute. Mm, I do, but it's very just samey. I used to hate stuff like that when I was a kid. Isn't it funny how like when your parents, when you're little and it's a weekend, like we're going to be in queue and you're like, I can't think of anything worse than the whole experience. It's just like horrific. And then when you get to like your twenties or something, you're like, oh, B and Q sounds like a fun day out. I mean, B and Q, I wouldn't say it qualifies as a fun day out. I just love DIY. We've never got our garden how we want it, have we? And I feel like this, hopefully, will be like a really good, like maintainable way of keeping our garden nice. And then we just need to chop off the bits of the overhanging tree. That will make a big difference, I think. Because the amount of stuff that comes off that tree into our garden, let's just hope they're not massively precious about it. Imagine if we cut, cut it off and a huge branch that fell into the garden. That's what happened last time. Oh, did it from it? Yeah. Okay, well, they're definitely known as this time. Maybe we should talk to them. I could throw, like, write a message and throw a paper plane over. We're allowed to do it because it overhangs into our yeah, thing, Yeah, I was just going to say to them, like, just to be nice, like, this is what we're doing. Like, can we just cut it down? Because the problem is, the bits that do overhang into our garden are such thick branches, I don't think we're going to be able to do it, like, subtly. No. I think they're going to see we'll us. We'll just say, it. like, it all falls in our garden and it blocks the sun, so we're yeah. just going to try. I mean, yeah, they can't say no, can they? Because, like, if it, if it overhangs in your garden, then you are allowed. It's more just like as a courtesy. I wonder what this park's like. It looks like it might be quite nice. Yeah, there's a lake in it. Really? Yeah, How do you know that? Because I'm looking at the map. <laughs> wow, that's cool. Should we go there one day? Mm. You know, when we were doing, like, our winter walks, like a walk every Sunday to try and yeah, keep our nice. mental health, like, yeah, during lockdown. Nice. Because we're definitely going to go back into lockdown. When that happens, should we go for a walk there? Mm -hmm. Do you think we'll go back into lockdown? Um, I'm not sure. Okay, so we've been to B and Q, and my maths isn't well maths isn't my strong point anyway but basically i thought four meters squared was four meters by four meters so i thought we needed one thing of artificial grass turns out we need two because four meters squared just means a line of four meters one meter wide so i messed up so we've got the stones the grass popped into being cute bought another roll of that same grass now as the time. Do you know what that reminds me of? You know when you go to superstores in like France? Yeah. I'm like sure. like all um Polyphone. like soup Oh careful. Polyphone. Yeah, careful. They have those in like every only area, don't they? Do you know what I love? A Mercadona. I know you do. Literally, I've never heard of it in that every time. I love oh, Mercadona bag, a Mercadona bag. Yes, because when I see other people with Mercadona bags, I'm like, wow. Wow, you've been to Spain. You know how you said you wanted to nod at other people that wore glasses because you wear yeah. glasses now? That's how I feel with people with Mercadona bags. But I want to like, hug them and be like, wow. Um, That's why you get locked up. I got Oggs. So I'm going to say I actually was successful because Oggs is the greatest thing to ever exist on the planet. If you don't know what it is, it's aquafaba, which is, to make aquafaba yourself is really difficult. Well, it's difficult, it's difficult for me. You have chickpea, the, the like brine that chickpeas are in, and you have to mix it with sugar and whisk, but you have to whisk for so long, I can just never get it right. Anyway, it's a nightmare. I can never get it right, but ox is so great because you can use it in baking, but you can also use it in cocktails, and it's the best thing I've found um, as like an egg. Well, I don't know. Forget, no, it's like tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Maybe after tomorrow, though. Yeah. Tomorrow evening in our new garden. Um, I do love a whiskey sour, and I really miss having the kind of like consistency. It like makes it really smooth, doesn't it? Like having an egg in a cocktail, and, like frosty. Yeah, yeah, and um, yeah, so Toby used to be a barman, so he's very specific about cocktails and what you put in them and how they turn out. And you were really impressed, weren't you? You said, I like... I think it's the best egg thing. I've never 
seems like you can use this though. Like, that thing that, I had at the social was terrible. Yeah, that was like a spray and or like a foam. Dry. Yeah, and it like went foamy. It was called foamy. Um, which I guess is probably still quite good, but it was a bit uh, no, not the best. Orx is great. This is the before of our garden. Normally it's not quite so messy. Um, we have another chair and table that's just kind of shoved around the back at the minute, which sometimes we have here or at the back. And this rug is actually inside out at the minute. I might cut that label off so we can have it either way. Um, it's in front and the table's normally pushed back a bit. So essentially, we're going to put artificial grass in the middle, some stones around the edge, We've got some draining that needs, that we can't have grass on. So having these little chip stone things around the edge is good because the rain can still pass through it. So this is gonna be the before. I was gonna say, you probably haven't um, ever really like seen our garden. Um, we've got the graffiti down by. Mikey. Mikey. Freedom. Freedom. No? Yeah. Um, he's from Bristol, no? He is. Um, graffiti artist and he came and did it. <sighs> so, we have pretty much done a lot of it, but We've decided to go and grab some more stones. We're in an absolute crazy rush and my camera's about to die. There you go. So we're off. No time. We're back after our very fast trip. It doesn't feel very fast actually, it felt like it took a while. Oh my God, it smells like new carpet. Like it's so weird because you literally come outside and it smells like a room and it's got new carpet. That's so funny. So we're like sweeping it to try and like lift the bits of grass. And you can see like the line down the middle. But eventually I think it's going to look a bit better. And our slate tiles and edging. Do you know what as well, Toby? What? It looks really nice against the green graffiti. Yeah, I know. Like the colour looks really nice with it. So we had like a moment of um, madness and we're going to put grass in this bit as well. We've got more grass, which we're going to cut and put in here. And more stones. Um, and then eventually I'm gonna get like a door or something to cover the little bike shed.
This looks so good. Just shove these pillows on the chairs. They're just from the sofa, so they're not gonna stay. I can't wait to see it tonight when the um, fairy lights come on. Mm. It looks so cool. We're done, we're finished. It looks amazing, we're so happy with it. I'm really chuffed, and what I'm more happy about is that literally this morning, we didn't have anything. We've just done it all in a day. Not even a day, we didn't leave until like half 12 to go and get the stuff, so. This is what it looks like, transformation time. So, we're really lucky. We've got these big, two big double doors. Oh, I just need to put these um, solar lights back out. But um, I've kind of split the table and chairs. So I've got one little chair here. Obviously, when the door shut, it will just go that side of it. I've just put a couple of cushions from the sofa on there. Our picnic table with our drinks and our cards ready for us. Um, these lines should hopefully disappear. Um, we just need to keep brushing them to kind of get rid of it, but they should hopefully disappear, but if not, I actually don't even care. Um, our little slate borders, our new plant, and a little chair and table, I'm just cleaning the glass. And we're gonna get like a door or something just to go here to cover the bike, which is hanging up in there. So yeah, I've just repaired my little bird house because it didn't fare very well during the hot weather and kind of split a bit and um kind of fell apart a bit but i am literally so happy it looks so good okay we're gonna sit down have a game of cards have a drink it's basically last night but the holiday version in our new garden and i'm so happy <laughs> The sun will be here in a couple of hours and I cannot wait. I just went down and set everything up this morning. Good evening. It is way later now than when I was last talking. I went on my walk and and then I... Who are you talking to? Toby wanted me to go into Sainsbury's on the way back and that was one of the biggest mistakes of my life. It was so dramatic. As I walked in, someone was just like screaming at security. And then, what is wrong with you? Are you kidding? You have it on your shorts, in your arm hair, on the floor, and in your beard? Just wrong. Toby eating is like a toddler, I swear to God. Um, anyway, then a woman was refusing to wear her mask and started just going crazy and like screaming. And I just that wanted to get out of there. But I did find, and I can't believe this, like a whole big birthday cake that I can actually have because I can't have like, gluten, egg, milk, soy. I can never find something mm. that has like, is like vegan, but also gluten free or is vegan and gluten free, but doesn't have soy in. So I couldn't believe it, so I had to buy it. So now I have a huge birthday cake that serves 10 people. I already had some of it earlier. Yeah, I already had some of it earlier. Sorry, this is a bit of a mess. We've just had dinner outside. And I'm about to have another bit for dessert, and it is so yummy. So yeah, we're just chilling in the garden. It's so nice, the weather is great. I feel like, actually, this week we should just not work during the day and just work now. Because actually, we could bring our computers out now and be able to see outside because mm. of the reflection and stuff. But like, genuinely, this is a nice temperature to be outside. Up in the office now is too hot. Do you want to bring your computer down? No. Have you got more work to do tonight? No, fine. I kind of feel like I want to work at night instead, outside. It's so nice. Um, was it like 30 degrees today again? Mm -hmm. It was so hot today. But the annoying thing is, because we went for a walk like in the middle of the day, I had like some work to do when I got back, so then kind of just missed the sun and haven't really got a chance to sit out in it. But to be honest, it's just been so nice to be outside anyway. Um, and it's been really nice to kind of be able to enjoy the garden. Now we've made it a bit nicer. And I'm really glad I got these chairs back out and like cleaned them up and stuff because they're actually really comfy. I th always thought they were a bit annoying, but with cushions on, they're really comfy, aren't they? Mm -hmm. I just wanted to pop on and say thank you so much for watching. I didn't really get to end it properly the other day, so I thought I would end it quickly now. It is the following week and we are already now on 
a different vlog but I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed watching our little garden transformation it's been the best week having it set up like that for the sunshine we've really made use of it and been at the paddling pool every day and it's just been amazing so I really hope you enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching and come back again next week for this video